to make over $20,000 a month from YouTube. It's not subs and it's not AdSense. I'm gonna show you exactly the 10 things that I do to make over $20,000 a month from YouTube coming up now. Hey everyone, I'm Omeka and I do three things here on the channel. I show you how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom, so you can design that ultimate lifestyle. I'm doing me so you can do you. All right, let's dive into it. I've been using YouTube as a platform for just over a year and a half now, and I've been able to grow my business from literally zero to over $20,000 a month, all from YouTube. How's that possible? It's a few different things, and I'm gonna show you the 10 things that I focus on to make over $20,000 from YouTube. So, number one, it's not about how many subscribers you have. Believe it or not, your subscriber count has a very, very small impact on your actual bottom line. I've seen big channels, we're talking 50, 100,000 subscribers making next to nothing because they don't know how to monetize their subscribers. I have less than 5,000 subscribers at the time of filming this video and I'm still able to make over $20,000 a month with less than 5,000 subscribers. So, is it number two? No, it's not about AdSense. Your YouTube revenue, your YouTube ad revenue is going to be the smallest part of your business when you set this up right. I make, I think, 120 bucks a month from YouTube ad rev. It's peanuts, it's nothing. It is not what you wanna be focused on. There are some niches, some channels out there where they make a killing off of AdSense and hey, you need to know what type of niche you're in. If you're a, you know, one of the, 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 the big car channels like Daily Driven Exotics, Vehicle Versions, or some of those big vlogging car channels, that's pure entertainment. Yeah, you're gonna make a decent chunk of chain. We're talking 10, 20, $30,000 a month or more only from ad revenue, but by learning how to monetize your subscribers and monetize your channel in the more traditional sense, not relying on AdSense, you can take that 20 or $30,000 business and blow it up into the six figures a month with a few of the tips I'm gonna talk about coming up. And it's number three, it's not about the size of your channel. Watch time, views, likes and dislikes, those things, they matter to a point but they don't have as much as an impact on your bottom line as the last seven points I'm gonna talk about here. So small channels, there was a lot of talk about YouTube's killing off small channels. No, YouTube's not killing off small channels. You're killing your business thinking that YouTube's killing off small channels. You have to learn how to monetize your channel by having a back end, by having some other things on there that are gonna generate, generate some income for you. So let's talk about those. So number four is it's all about building a business. You have to build an actual business. That means you have to have products or affiliate products that you're gonna be selling and promoting to your audience at some point. That is how I make the majority of my money. It's through affiliate products and it's called affiliate marketing. When I introduce my audience to a specific product that I've been using that's gonna benefit them for my related niche. I get a cut when somebody buys it through a special link. That's what affiliate marketing is. That accounts for about five to $6,000 of my overall $20,000 that I get from YouTube. But the big part of my revenue is coming from products that I have personally created myself and sell to my audience. That is where I'm making the majority of my money. That can be a massive, massive opportunity for all of you looking at starting a YouTube channel, have your own product and sell it and promote it to your own audience. So let's talk about how to build an audience. Well, start by just putting up content like this. Put up videos, figure out whatever niche you're gonna go into and start filming videos, do some research, find out, hey, what are some of the biggest channels talking about that's that are in your particular niche and take those ideas and do exact 
videos on that specific topic. How did I find out, how did I come up with an idea for this video? Well, I was just doing some research on YouTube, checking out what was, you know, what was hit, what was getting a lot of the, a lot of the views, a lot of the attention, right? Cause money follows attention. Saw this, saw this idea for a video. I'm like, I could film that video and uh, here we are filming this video. Now you have to have products. You have to have something that you're going to sell to your audience. I have, uh, what is it? Four main products. I have a free book. I have a, a program that's 397. I have a 147 a month uh, membership program. And then I have a, a $4,000 coaching program. So I have different products that my audience can can purchase from me that generates the majority of my revenue. YouTube is not paying me. I'm using YouTube to create an audience to, to leverage the millions or probably billions of people that are out watching YouTube videos every single day. And I'm just getting a little piece of that pie, showing them a product that they, that they find valuable, selling it to them and getting paid for that. That's a business. So don't get hung up on the fact that, hey, my ad revenue is not this, or I don't have a ton of subscribers. Find a product or create a product. That's what I love doing. Create a product that your subscribers are gonna want, that they're gonna need, and then just charge them for it. Okay, so number seven is you can't just start a channel and start selling products. That's not gonna work. You have to go value, 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 sell. You have to go like Jerry, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about the jab, jab, right hook concept. You have to offer value up front. If you're just trying to sell something to somebody over and over again, you're going to turn them off. They're not going to watch any of your content. If no one's watching your content, well, you're going to have nobody to sell to. So you have to be providing value in and around your specific niche. Like, so if you're in the, um, you know, dog grooming niche, you know, you might have like a grooming supply business or, you know, grooming services that you want to market to your customers or whatever the case is. So I would be doing a whole bunch of videos, three to five videos a week on different dog grooming tips, stuff that my audience is going to want to learn. They're going to want to know that they're going to find valuable. And I would keep filming videos consistently for months after months, after months, after months. Remember, this is not a short term thing. This is a long term plan. Right. And then I would also have products situated in there that they can buy, that they can purchase. Why are people going to buy something from you? They trust you and they like what you're saying. Those are the two reasons people buy from you. They trust you. They like what you like, what you're about. So they're going to buy products from you. It's, it's not a complicated process here. YouTube just allows you to get in front of way more people than doing it the traditional way, you know, direct sales or, you know, in a mall at a retail store, for example, you're able to impact and reach thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, millions really, um, at once. Tip number eight is be consistent, connect with your audience. You have to let them know that you're around. Once a video goes up, I'm always checking the comments, engaging with people, asking questions, and um, I consistently produce videos three to five times a week. Now, if you look at the last little bit, we just had our second child, so I took a couple weeks off, but I still got a couple videos up there, but I'm consistently on YouTube creating new content. I did two different, I did a 90 day challenge where I did a video a day for 90 days, ended up filming it, it was 103 videos in that 90 day period. And then I did another challenge at the end of 2017 where I did for the last 100 days of the year, I did one video every single day, including Christmas and New Year's Eve, every single day, um, just as a challenge for myself to give my audience a lot more content to view, thus giving them more value, thus ending up making more sales. Tip number nine is reach out to influencers, reach out to some of the biggest channels and get attention, right? Money follows attention. Um, so you have to, you know, go out and reach out to some of the biggest people in your audience or in your niche rather and connect with them, find out, find ways to have them on your channel, see if you can get on their channel, but connect with them, build relationships. That's one of the reasons I was, a, I've been able to really 
get my channel going within my particular niche. And it's a very, I'm in a very small niche. I started off in a very small niche. Um, and, but I just reached out to all the top influencers in there, started doing uh, collabs with them, interviews with them, and that really started getting a lot more attention on my particular products and on my channel, thus making more money. And number 10 is never stop learning and never be too big to seek out help or to improve yourself. Um, that's one thing I'm always looking to do. I'm going down to uh, Vid Summit in, uh, in LA in October um, so I can up my YouTube game. It is not perfect by any means. So I can up my YouTube game because it's not perfect by any means. So I'm looking at reaching out to the massive influencers that are gonna be at that event and learning some of the tricks of the trade on you know what I can do to increase my you know, my viewers, increase my subscriber count. Because like I said in the beginning, they, they, they are not the end all and be all, but they do matter, right? Right now, if I'm making about $20,000 a month from, from less than 5,000 subscribers, what's gonna happen when that goes to 10,000 or 100,000 or half a million subscribers, right? So it matters, but don't let your numbers hold you back from building your actual business. Hey, I'm Omeka. If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. Love to connect with you. You can find me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. All those links are gonna be right in the description of this video. Until next time, everybody, don't forget to increase your income so you can take back your freedom so you can design that ultimate lifestyle. Talk to you all soon. Take care.